guys, it's Kevin again, and um, in this video, I'm now going to review Scary Movie 4. Um, now, with Scary Movie 3, I said how it was still funny, and they still had very funny jokes, and it wasn't terrible. You know, after the first two, they definitely weren't as funny, and really, with Scary Movie 4, there was a lot they had going for it after Scary Movie 3, I think. The problem is with Scary Movie 4, while it seems from this cover art, it actually looks funnier than the whole movie. Because Scary Movie 4 is the worst of the series. Honestly, you know, Scary Movie 5, I didn't hate it. I think it was a good way to restart the franchise. Yeah, it wasn't as funny as these two. But it wasn't as bad as this. This is not very funny at all. And... The problems I have with this movie, they're not very minimal. Like, Scary Movie 3, I have minimal problems with it, and most of them are in, you know, like, the spoofs, and some of the stuff is kind of random. But in this one, there's just stuff that's not very funny. Most of it comes from this woman right there, Cindy Campbell. I don't know what happened to Anna Ferris in this, but she is not funny at all in this movie. There's not one scene in this movie where I think she's very funny. In this scene, she's, in this one, she's taking care of this old lady, played by Cloris, Le Cloris Leachman. Every scene they have is either disgusting or just not funny at all. Um, I just do not like their scenes at all. I think it is very disgusting, and I just don't like their scenes very much at all. By the way, I got your phone case. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't think she's funny at all in this one. And, you, you know, you have this new guy, Tom Ryan, here. And Tom Ryan is probably the most annoying character in a scary movie ever. Because he is so annoying. Um, and he's not, he didn't really annoy me, like, for the whole movie. He annoyed me from, like, the beginning of the movie. He kind of calms down, though. Once he starts, um, you know, it's just very hard. Like, her storyline has to do with Saw and the Grudge. His storyline has to do with War of the Worlds. The problem is, there should not be as many movies as there are. The beginning of the movie is very humorous with Dr. Phil and Shaquille O'Neal. It is very funny. It is a parody of Saw. They are making fun of each other. It's hilarious. The problem is, most of the movie could not be like that. We then get to Cindy Campbell, and she has a very amusing scene with Tom Cruise, who is just there. I mean, not Tom, Charlie Sheen. I don't know why I said Tom Cruise. Charlie Sheen, and he's just there, you know, Charlie Sheen's character, and he's just there to kill himself, but it is quite funny, um, and, you know, that only lasts for a couple minutes, and then we go back to Tom Ryan's storyline, and we see Mahalik and CJ, and they have a very funny scene together with Bro Brokeback Mountain, it's very funny. After that scene, the movie really slows down, and it's not very funny, um, but the main plot of this is pretty much, um, it's a parody of The Grudge and Saw, pretty much. There is a man who, um, she is there for, um, trying to help, trying to find, and this guy ends up killing his son, and she tries to figure out why he killed his son, and turns out to be Billy the Puppet. Honestly, the problem I have with this movie is not that it's just not funny, is that they are trying to make so many movies, they are trying to spoof so many movies, and they fail at this. Because of having so many movies in there, you are likely to get very confused. I myself was very confused. I'm like, okay, this is a parody of The Village. This is a parody, okay. So are they spoofing Saw or The Grudge here? There are just way too many movies they're spoofing. Way too many. And most of those parodies that they're spoofing are the main ones. War of the Worlds, The Grudge, Saw, and The Village are all the main parodies of this. But think about this. Scary movie, they spoofed Scream, and I know what you did last summer. But this worked well because Scream was, you know, the main plot, and I know what you did last summer was the backstory. Scary movie 2, they spoofed ghost movies. Scary movie 3, they spoofed more um, science fiction type of movies. Scary movie 4, they're trying to spoof every single movie that they can. Oh, that was popular in 2005. And they just don't succeed at this. The War of the World stuff is not very funny, except for the Michael Jackson stuff. There are some funny scenes in here, but there are very few in between. Carmen Electra 
she's just not funny in this movie. And the thing is, she was hilarious in the first one as the girl who gets killed. But in this movie, she's not very funny at all. She plays this blind girl. And, you know, honestly, I felt bad for her character most of the movie. It's not very funny to make fun of a blind girl, and I did not find that funny at all. Um... The other thing that really annoys me is, how is Regina Hall back? How is Brenda back? She was killed and mutilated in the third one. Um, so how is she back in this one? It really annoys me, and really, she's really... She didn't irritate me in any of the other movies. She's really irritating in this one. Like, just her voice alone is very irritating. And I just don't really like her in this one. Um... And I just, I'm not saying this is a bad movie. It's far from it. It's not terrible. But it's not good compared to the first two. But it's not, you know, and it's not like the first, like the third one either. This one is just not very funny. It just tries to put in so many spooks. The one thing that this movie does have that's great, and the best part, is Leslie Nelson. All of his scenes in this movie are hilarious. He has two scenes, and they're both very funny. The first one... They're spoofing the George Bush uh, crisis with a pet duck. Um, I don't know, but that's really funny. Um, and the second part, he invents this machine, and it ends up taking off everybody's clothes, and they end up naked. It's funny once he ends up naked. Once the whole audience ends up naked, it's not very funny. But he, he himself did do very good in those scenes, and I thought he was the best part of the movie. So the ending also is quite humorous. Um, it's the only scene I really enjoyed Tom Ryan in. It's the scene with spoofing Oprah Winfrey and Tom Cruise. And again, they're trying to spoof something, but this succeeds because he goes to Oprah and he, you know, he's talking about Cindy Campbell and how he fell in love with her. And it's uh, it's actually pretty humorous and it's a good way to end the movie. Um, But it doesn't, it's not really the funniest part of the movie. I don't know why they showed it so much in the advertisements thing. It was so funny because it's not very funny at all, honestly. Um, It's not really the funniest part of the movie. The best part, I think, is Shaquille O'Neal and Dr. Phil and um, Leslie Nelson. I think that's the best part. And the Brokeback Mountain spoof. That's very funny. Once we get away from that stuff, the movie is not very funny. And it's not bad. It's just not very funny. And honestly, the, the reason I'm not very happy with this movie, and again, it's not bad compared to me if it's Barnes or Disaster movie. Those movies are crap, crap, crap. Don't even get me started with those. But... The thing is, Scary Movie 1 was hilarious, Scary Movie 2 was great, Scary Movie 3 was okay, but it was still funny. Um, this one, though, it's amazing how great a series can start, and then it gets to this, and it's not very funny. Um, again, there are some funny parts that I didn't laugh at, but overall, I just did not really like it. So if you're thinking Scary Movie 4 is going to be as funny as the first two, you're really putting yourself in a bad position because scary movie, you know, this one is not as funny as even the first three. It's not very funny. There aren't as many times as you laugh. There'll be about probably five to seven times you'll laugh, but you will not laugh ever when it's with Cindy Campbell. I couldn't get over how lame her jokes were in this movie. And honestly, I hate using that word. I think it's a stupid, because I think that's a terrible way to tell the movie that was lame. But really, her jokes were really lame in this movie. Like, they just have some really disgusting stuff with her and Cloris Leachman. It's not very funny at all. So that's it for my review of Scary Movie 4. Hope you enjoyed it. And, you know, I liked reviewing this franchise. It's a very good franchise. Um, I do think that Scary Movie 5 kind of helped the Scary Movies a bit. Even though Scary Movie 5 was different, Scary Movie 5 was more dark humor. Honestly, like, it had a lot more dark humor than the other ones did. Like, the first one had a lot of dark humor as well. The fifth one really picked that up. So, overall, how would I rate the scary movies? Uh, I'd say, not, you know, the first one's the best. Then the second one. Then I'd say the fifth one, because it was very funny compared to, you know, three and four. Then the third one, and the worst one is the fourth one. So that's how I read the Scary Movie series. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. And I am currently watching The Simpsons. I'll watch the... I did not watch the first one because I had to finish up Scary Movie 4. But I'm going to watch the one with Seth MacFarlane, so I will see you then. Bye!